Hello dear students, today uh, we are solving ISI 2020 subjective paper. So I have solved till 4 in the last two videos. So today we are solving from 5. So here we are working with the pentagon in terms of the area proved that the largest pentagon in terms of area can be inscribed in a circle radius 1 is a regular polygon that means all of its sides are equal okay so let's see so we are given with a pentagon five sides and it is inscribed in a circle and circle uh, in a circle of radius 1 and this will become regular if the circle is this so let's draw this first okay I think I can do one thing um, okay uh, so now we have this circle and the polygon based diagram will be like this and you can uh, make it with respect to different different triangles so how many total five isosceles triangles okay so now let uh, <coughs> theta I is an angle okay so where I uh, this lies between 1 to 5 be an isosceles be the angles of the triangles between equal sides so the length of these sides length of the sides L of sides are equal to the radius of the circle R so radius of circle R or smaller here so now the area of the triangle is 1 by 2 capital R square sine theta I okay so the area of the pentagon is R square by 2 summation of sine theta i where obviously i equal to 1 to 5 now we have uh, theta i lies between what 0 to pi that is 180 and the function x tends to sin uh, x and sin x this lies between 0 to pi also well okay but this is non-inclusive this is inclusive so now summation of sin theta i less than 5 less than equal to sin of summation theta i by 5 equal to sin 2 pi by 5 so now we have this uh, sin theta i equal to 2 pi already so the area is area of the pentagon A less than equal to 5 by 2 sin 2 pi by 5 as r equal to 1 they have given at the end so the equally so this is the structure and this is equally achieved when uh, theta i equal to 2 pi by 5 so that is only when the pentagon is regular Hence the answer and it is proved. So now we get to the question number 5 is being done 6. Prove that the family of curves is one of the most very common cited question x square by a plus lambda plus y square by b plus lambda equal to 1. This satisfies this as well. Only the next part changed a little bit. So we will have a look into this.
so what we have here 2x by a square plus lambda 2y dy dx by b square plus lambda equal to 0 so y dy dx is minus x into b square plus lambda divided by a square plus lambda once it is been done then it is x plus y dy dx equal to x 1 minus b square plus lambda and a square plus lambda equal to x into so this will be a square uh, minus b square by a square plus lambda and obviously in the other part x dy dx minus y will be x by y this is y dy dx minus y so this is uh, minus uh, x square by y b square plus lambda here putting the values here minus y so b square plus lambda by y can be taken common so x square by a square plus lambda and y square by b square plus lambda so that is equal to minus b square plus lambda by y this has been done so it follows that now this thing is following x plus y by dy dx x dy dx minus y so minus x a square minus b square by a square plus lambda and b square plus lambda by y so once we put it so the final value comes in as a square minus b square minus x by y so it's actually satisfying b square plus lambda a square plus lambda so dy dx a square minus b square hence the answer